they're over. We've once again got a full slate of games to get to as we take you around the NFL here in Week 12. We'll begin with a rematch from back in Super Bowl 50 as Denver heads east to Charlotte to take on Carolina. And the Panthers are out in front as they play the second quarter. Tyler Boyd, a touchdown catch in that first half. From there, we head down to sunny Miami to check on the Dolphins at home at Hard Rock Stadium. And they've got the lead over the visiting Houston Texans. Tyrell Williams, a touchdown reception. Finally, we head to the shores of Lake Erie. See what's going on with the Cleveland Browns. And they've got the lead in their matchup with the Tampa Bay Bucks. Zach Pascal up near 100 yards receiving with a touchdown as well. With a touchdown as well. Next, a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Falcons. And despite the fact that they're down on the scoreboard, they were able to have some success throwing the football in that opening half. Meanwhile, for Washington, they were even better throwing the football. Lots of open receivers to choose from, and you can bet that'll continue to be a focus in the second half. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. So here is Washington now to take over. They were losers a week ago to the Texans, but they're on top right now as they start this drive out first and ten. Second half will start with a run by Sanders. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Another run with Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now Tua. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. To me, the defense was looking a little gassed near the end of the first half, but they've come out of the locker room with a little extra spring in their step. Wonder what they did at halftime to get them so motivated. I don't know, but that sack looked good. Now let's see if they can build on the momentum of that play. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. And brought in by the tight end Cook. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. From the 44, Newton. Complete to Jones. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Newton on first down. He's got Cook running his slant, and he's going to get this down near the 25. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays at that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Up the middle to Davis. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now it's Newton going to keep it himself. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. 
Throwing on third down. Newton. And that will be incomplete. The commander's defense holds, and that'll bring up fourth down. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that'll get the lead down to five. He's got nine points on field goals now. He's made three of them. That gets him a bit closer, but there's no question they need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And for him, it's not his concern, right? He just goes out there when they call on him and goes ahead and puts points up on the board. But the offense has got to get together and figure out what's stalling their drives so they have to keep calling on him. Well, another drive coming up for this Washington offense. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And the penetration too strong. He won't make it back to the line of scrimmage. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Elsewhere, they have gone to the second half in Carolina. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Russell Wilson, two touchdown passes to lead the way. On first and 10, Newton. That's caught by Jackson. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. But those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. On second and inches, Newton. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Gregory Russo able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. And it has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. And the pressure gets to him again. Gregory Russo, two plays in a row now that he has gotten in there for the sack, and it brings up fourth down. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Here's Tressway now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Taking it about the 16. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. To throw on second and six, Tua. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. 
but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Two are going to throw. Throwing it Terry McLaurin's way again, and he's got it. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing now is Tug of Iloa. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Two are going to tap this forward on the jet sweep. And he will score. Touchdown, Washington. Darren Waller with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders from the six. And here now come the Falcons. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Up the middle. Ingram. And he's going to get to the 31. Enough for the first down. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Here's Davis running right. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's Newton. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. These guys have played it four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Newton. Out of his hands quick to Jackson. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Newton. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Inside give to Davis. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'll go option to the short side. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. They'll run here with Ingram. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second and goal, Newton. 
And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Cam Newton, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Koo able to connect on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. A time again to see Terry McLaurin in the Washington offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right? Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Here's Tua. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. Tua sets up to pass it. Delivering another one here to Darren Waller. He's got it again. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Washington on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and four. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Falcons offense set to go. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw is Newton. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Kyle Hamilton picks it. And he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. Coming off the pick six, it's Newton. He's going to get this to Austin complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now Newton. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, here's Tua. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Aaron Donald picks up his second sack of the afternoon. To try again after the sack, Tua. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. 
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out, and he is going to need to bomb this one. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this will stay a 12-point game. Now, Charles, all things considered, I guess that's not a critical miss at this stage, is it? No, but still everything helps when you're trying to finish off a ball game. And you're right, not critical in terms of the scoreboard and the team, but the guy with the golden foot, he knows he's only as good as his last kick. Throwing on second and eight, Newton. Throw left side complete. That's Cook. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Newton now to throw. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. They give him seven yards on the play. Ron Rivera is scowling down on the sideline, and he's thrown out the red challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Now here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Now a first down throw for Newton. On the right side, this is Austin with a catch. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. 38 yard line, second and 11. Throwing again is Newton. And Cook has it, left side. And he hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. From the gun on third down, Newton. Right back to Cook for another completion. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Newton. He gets it complete to Jackson. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. All start. So from the two, now they move back to the seven-yard line. First and goal. Newton throwing again. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. A shotgun snap for Newton. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Falcons are back within a score. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Fielded just outside the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. They'll go again with Sanders. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Play action. Now it's Tua. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there. And now fourth down. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. 
It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Let's shift now and discuss Deshaun Jackson. Let's see here, Charles. Six catches, over 100 yards. Call that a pretty good day at the office. And I love the accumulation. The catches, the yardage. That means he's having a pretty good impact on this ball game and really helping his team out in a big way. He wants the football again, right? And it's funny because some of these receivers are very vocal about how much they're getting it. Others are quieter, but they still let you know, get me the ball, I'm going to make a play. Throwing on third down, Newton. Man open here is Jones. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Newton to throw. And the defense loses him. It's complete. It's a big play there for Atlanta. 41 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Davis. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time, they'll lose one or two. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Newton. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Seventh play of this drive coming up. And a long way to go on third down. Cam to throw. And he's got it. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Pass caught left side by Humphreys. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Austin. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that decision to me was all about pulling up the chart. You know, that, that beautiful chart that tells you when to go for two, when you to go that for chart. one. I do love it. It helps you with your decision making during heated times. And just look at it right here at this part, point of the game. Go for two. Try and make it a field goal difference. But now just up one makes the rest of this fourth quarter a little more interesting. Yeah, they followed the chart. They just didn't get the two points on the board, did they? Nope. Meanwhile, two is thrown into the hands of McLaurin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. What a huge mistake late. It's intercepted. Picked off by Robert Alford. And the Falcons have just about sewn up this football game. Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here, and they're going to escape with a one-point victory. And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. At the defense, they'll spread the field a dime package here on third and 12. That was an excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly. <laughs> 